Welcome to the stock market morning prep video for Thursday, January 22nd. Well, we did get a little bit of movement, but uh, as you can see here on a 30 minute SPY chart, we have gone really nowhere uh, for the last four trading sessions, and it has been very difficult to make a dollar unless you're a scalper. Um, otherwise, the markets have gone nowhere. You can see this here three days. We just had a little bit of push up yesterday. Uh, Dow was up about 39 points. And at one point, we were actually down. Uh, so volatility is definitely upon us. The problem is when you have volatility in a small range, it's not good. Because what happens is you're getting stopped out constantly when you're trying to get long and or short for that matter. So what is uh, the best thing to do is kind of step away a little bit and wait for the markets to, uh, to grab an outside day, whether it be to the upside and or to the downside reason why is we have a big risk event this morning which is the ECB uh, on their rate decision so we don't know how the markets gonna react it doesn't matter what uh, Draghi says it's how the markets react to his comments so um, can't wait for this morning because I'm hoping that we can get some movement uh, and get some outside ranges and then we can start trading again uh, more efficiently because it has been brutal for the last three days and of course uh, as you know Monday we were off for Martha Luther King's birthday so I'm going to go right into the indices. No indicators today. Nothing really has changed. Uh, some of the indicators are still pointing lower and uh, looking for some of that washout to see if we can get a big bump to the upside. At least we get that bounce that we're looking for. And um, if we don't get the bounce and we start to move lower, uh, markets are making lower lows right now. So that is a little bit of a concern, as you can see here. Um, I want to show you the Russell and I'm going to show you the XLF in a moment, but I want to show you this spiders chart, daily chart. This is a 38% FIB. We actually uh, filled that gap here. My next downside target would be the 200 and then, of course, the 61.8% retracement. Uh, we do have um, unwinding of overbought readings, our daily MACD and RSI. Uh, and if we break back to the upside here, uh, that would be another good sign. Okay, now, um, I, I, I don't think the markets are, are really headed for disaster, or at least not at the moment. I do think that um, we'll probably look to test either this little top here or this top this high and then uh, start to roll back down again so this is what I'm looking for uh, I'd like to see the markets push up a little bit I think that would get us a better shorting opportunity uh, when the markets do decide to correct now remember the markets bounce and that bounces for real then uh, we're not looking to short at, at that one particular time so we want to evaluate the bounce we want to evaluate the retracement up and if we start taking these key pivotal highs out then of course uh, we have something bigger brewing to the upside okay but we'll take it one step at a time right now um, I'm, I'm a cautious bull um, I do think that the markets can push higher but remember after this risk event news trumps the charts anything could happen but again I like to see we break back to the upside on this downtrend line here this overbought reading is now unwinding which is good and that gives us more fuel to the fire for any upside movement uh, transports again you could see here pretty much long-legged dojis really have gone absolutely nowhere sitting on a 38 2 percent fib again downside targets would be the 61.8 percent retracement and of course the 200 day moving average okay now um here's interesting here's an interesting note here's the xlf on a weekly chart just price uh we're hovering the uptrend line to me i think this is still healthy i think the banks are still in in play if the banks start to move higher and they start to take out 25 in the XLF, what's going to happen is going to fuel further movement in the IWMs, heavily weighted in financials. If we can break back above 120 and change, and let me just grab that crosshair here, you can see 120.52, call it. If we take that out on a closing basis, then I think that the, the Russell is going to explode higher. And that's going to be helped by, the, of course, the financials, the XLF chart, which I just showed you. Uh, now, again, we've been in a range pretty much all of 2014. Very, very sloppy. Terrible, terrible trading in the Russell 2000, uh, which would be the IWM, of course, the ETF. Uh, but if we can get some, we can muster up some movement to the upside. And again, uh, we can break out of this 120.52. I think one of our leaders here will follow suit and, then, and push every other index up as well. Again, with the help of the financials, okay? Very important. Um, so we'll see what happens here. Here's the IWM daily chart, and as you can see, 
very very sloppy chart um let me get that out of the way uh very sloppy you could see uh sitting on a, just about a 32 38 percent fib and again we got the 200 just sitting here so since november aside from this long, bigger range we just had some real sloppy trading terrible terrible trading in in, in the russell of late but we'll just see let's take a look maybe um after a while we get a, a movement to the upside remember we're still making lower lows and lower highs here from this high lower low from this previous high lower low from this previous high and we really would like to see this area here get taken out this little guy right here if we can get back above 117 20 117 50 call it on a closing basis then i think we might have a little bit of steam to move up and kind of challenge the highs and if that does happen then i think we get some bullish um sentiment and bullish um confirmation to the upside that markets uh, are at least going to challenge the highs here okay and then uh, we have uh, uh, uh diamonds you can see here again very very sloppy trading but again lower high from the previous high lower high from this previous high so the markets are still in a downtrend in the short term so uh, i wouldn't want to uh, convince you guys that we're uh, we're still in a in a big bill boring uh, uh roaring bull market now we are still in the bull market obviously in the in the bigger picture but on the daily charts we are in a short term downtrend making low lows and lower highs now we need to alleviate that and once we do that then of course then we can reevaluate for more upside targets lastly is the Qs, and now you can see here Qs almost hit the 61.8 percent retracement uh and if that breaks then of course that 200 would be and again lower lows lower highs and as you can see here so we're in the short term downtrend and we really need to break uh that area here so i'd like to see this this get taken out and that would be uh 102.53 okay all right guys i hope that helps let's see what happens today with the ecb and uh, hopefully we get some movement and at least get an outside day uh and then get some more price moving and some more money moving into the markets that we can uh actually uh, uh start trading again on a regular basis uh because it has been crazy the last four days have been uh uh not fun at all a very boring uh price action so hopefully we'll get some movement today have a great day everybody we'll speak to you tomorrow take care